on today's how to how to charge your battery using your car battery to charge your life pole yeah that's right we're going to show you the proper ways of charging it and why we're doing this so we don't discharge the battery and charge actually your car with your with your portable battery how we're going to do it with a diode that's right simple as that simple diode couple cents you could build all this for under 15 minutes, you guys. So let's uh, let's build it, and I'm going to show you how. And trust me, it's going to be a fun little project. Anybody could do this with a soldering gun. All right, guys. So let's get started here. We have this from Amazon. I'll be putting all the links in the description below. This is basically I got really lazy and I got a, a cigarette lighter adapter. And these are the diodes you're going to have to use. Notice that they're 10 amps. So they need to have the current rating and they're huge. Here's the actual size of it right here. It's, uh, it's, it's quite big. And uh, for comparison, this is what a normal dial would look like. That's only rated for about one amp. You don't want that one, toss them away. You need to have these ones. And again, I'll have all the links in the description below. So what we're doing is we're building this guy right over here. It's gonna plug in to the accessory outlet, or us old school people that are calling it cigarette lighters. It plugs in to the vehicle and it's gonna be using a power pole adapter to plug into your battery. Now, if you guys see my other videos, you'll see I have a battery that has two power pole connections on it. What that allows you to do is to charge while you're actually using your battery. How does that work? Well, your radio is gonna take power wherever there's the most power of. So your your battery is usually above the car battery, right? So you're gonna be using your, your life pole battery that's sitting on your front seat of your vehicle or on the floor or whatever. And this is designed to basically trickle charge it while you're driving. It's not the ideal charging system, trust me. You guys, it's not, this is not giving you the full charge for your life pole battery. Uh, your car only puts out maybe if you maybe 14 volts while it's running but the whole idea of this is when you turn it off and your accessory outlet does not turn off you're not going to back feed your battery that's sitting in your front seat back into your vehicle you don't want that that's the purpose of the diode all right guys so if you guys want to learn about diodes and all that this is not the place i'm just showing you i'm using the diode and that's why i'm using it all right so this is the connector I got it to fit all inside of here. You don't have to take this apart like I'm doing here in the background, but you can make it nicer by fitting it in. And it will fit in. You can see there I'm trimming the wires, making it fit just perfect. Um, this connector or this uh, adapter had a little LED on it. It broke off during the manufacturing of this. So I just uh, dis disregarded it, put it away. Look how it fits in there so nice. Just perfectly fits in there not it's just barely enough room right put the screws back together again this only takes about 15 minutes you guys and if you have any comments on this if you have want to try this there i go i'm coloring up on the light so you don't see it leave a message or comment in the messages below now i'm testing it right now and uh my voltage hooked up my power source and cables working i got my 13.5 volts now i'm using the diode function now this is just completely optional but the diode function is going to see the reverse voltage of this diode and see if it's working. So I simply put it on the positive and on the output of that, it's showing me that I have very low backflow. It's working. So you guys, that's how it's built. Simple as that. Links are below. This guy is getting shipped over to my buddy Hamjazz. I'm going to drop her in the mail and he needs this for his activations. For now, 73.